I'm Faiza Amin on 1st and West Ave. And as you can see, police tape surrounding the home that was apparently struck by bullets. Now, police tell me they received a call at around 2.30 p.m. this afternoon, but the incident occurred sometime last night. I would really like some answers as to what was going on and who did this, yeah. This woman says she was rushing to her friend Natasha's side after hearing her home, situated in the 1st and Logan Avenues area, was shot at last night. Those bullets eventually killing the family's pet cat. It's Riverdale. It's, I think it's one of the best neighborhoods in Toronto. The feline who police say goes by Simba was rushed to a vet after being struck in the stomach, but later succumbed to his wounds. It's believed the woman lived here with her kids. Investigators say Simba was the only one at home at the time of the shooting. A woman had uh, gone out with some friends overnight and returned to her home to find uh, bullet holes in her door. Uh, when she entered her, her, her home, she found her cat had been shot. Police at the scene tell City News they believe the screen door might have been open when the shots were fired. Three bullet holes were found on the bottom part of the front door. I know that uh, for many people out there, the you know their focus might be the cat, but our focus is on uh, public safety. So uh, bullet holes through a front door, that's, uh, that's a danger not only to her or anybody that might be in her home, but uh, anybody that might be in an apartment adjacent because uh, bullet holes can go through homes, walls, doors, that kind of thing. The exact time of the shooting is still unknown, but one woman tells City News she heard a noise around 1.30 a.m., but assumed it was just fireworks. Police did not receive any calls until later this afternoon when the woman returned to her home. Investigators have been canvassing the neighborhood and knocking on doors, asking if neighbors saw or heard anything. At this time, investigators say it's too early to tell if there was an intended target. Now, officials are still looking for witnesses to come forward. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Toronto Police. Faisal Amin, City News.